There are some words that should never be seen in the same sentence, such as asbestos and babies. Well, this week, quite incredibly, asbestos was discovered in baby powder. The company involved is a global giant, and incredibly, they have been caught doing this before. An asbestos scare has halted all baby powder imports and distributions within the kingdom. And several brands, including major ones, have been at the forefront after asbestos was detected within them. The Ministry of Commerce said yesterday that 12 types of baby powder were subject to this official inquiry. The 12 products found to contain asbestos included Johnson's baby powder, Johnson's blossom powder, Denise kids powder, which were all made in Thailand, as well as Purine's baby powder made in Malaysia. With the names of such giants as Johnson's, Denise and Purine being on this list, it is simply quite staggering as to what standards these companies are using to ensure quality control. After all, they should be airtight. Their end user is babies. If having asbestos in baby powder is not enough to make your blood boil, then this should help you. In 2020, Johnson & Johnson, who earns approximately $82 billion a year, had to stop selling baby powder in the US after thousands of consumers issued a safety lawsuit against the company for selling talcum powder, despite knowing that it was contaminated with asbestos. To know that the same firm has allowed the exact same crime to happen again is not only frightening, but is also astonishing.